sit here and show you guys my favorite black tank top. I'm going to show you guys things that are way over the top, crazy, weird, unique, because I only buy things if they're like so weird that I'm so captivated that I have to have it because it's like a weird, cool invention. This bag has been my absolute favorite thing this past couple of months. Ever since I bought it and moved my wallet into here, it pretty much has not alternated into any other kind of bag. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother has seen this bag. I don't even really know what it's called, horrible blogger. But who cares, right? Is, is there, oh my god, I have so many quarters. And I was struggling to pay for parking a couple days ago. Thank you. See, that was a sign. I also have two pens because I don't know why. What's in my bag? Oh, these sunglasses. Now I can show you guys them. And the cool thing is, I travel with this bag. I beat my bags up, kind of, in a way, sort of. Bad to say, but it's true. And it, like, looks brand new because the way this leather is made, it's like, I forget what it's called. The Prada bags are made with the same kind of leather. It's called, like, Saf, Saf, something, something leather. Basically, nothing will ever happen to this bag. It looks brand new despite the fact that it's been on airplanes. It's been... From places it shouldn't have been. It's seen it all. If you want it, if you can splurge on it, get it. It's an incredible investment. And yeah. And I just found a shit ton of quarters, so. I feel like sunglasses make your face look better. They're like an accessory to the face. It's almost like getting plastic surgery every day. If you know what I mean, like it just changes up your face shape. It changes up your mood. It changes up your facial structure depending on what sunglasses you use. Um, so I have what sunglasses you use, what sunglasses you wear. So I have a couple I wanted to show you guys that I've been obsessed with for the past winter. These ones are Celine sunglasses that I wear all the time. They're incredibly comfortable when I wear them in the car. They add some modern, cool 2016 like neo kind of trendiness to your outfit. And I got these at Barney's and they have a little brown thing at the bottom. These are super cool. These are from Wild Fox and they make me feel like I'm a butterfly. like. These are kind of like the Ray-Ban round ones that I wear every single goddamn day. Like, I'm not even kidding. These are my favorite sunglasses in the world. And they're bigger than the Ray-Ban round ones. So if you have a larger face, kind of like I do, I have a very square, large face. Um, these ones are a great alternative to the Ray-Ban round ones. And I kind of like the quality on these a lot more. So, yeah. Wild Fox make amazing sunglasses. BTW. So everybody always asks me where I get these. These are from Korea, South Korea. Um, obviously, no, they're from North Korea, Sonia. That was not funny, was it? Probably people with glasses think, Sonia, are you actually serious right now? Glasses are like hideous. I always felt like a nerd in glasses. I dreamt, am I the only one that like my whole childhood, I dreamt of wearing glasses and wearing braces? I was like this kid with like 20-20 vision, perfectly straight teeth. I guess because kids try to fit in, right? I always like wanted braces and wanted glasses. I don't know. I think freckles are cute. I think all these like weird, abnormal, nerdy things are incredibly cute. So I want to share an app that one of my best friends actually showed me this month. Sort of kind of incredibly obsessed with it. It's called Best Fiends and it's a game. I'm not like hugely obsessed with games, but this month I've kind of been changing my ways of spending my extra time. Honestly, I would much rather play a game like this than like sit on Instagram and troll people when I'm like waiting for, in line for something or like waiting for an appointment or whatever because I feel like this kind of exercises your brain like you're thinking like your brain is subconsciously thinking of different colors to connect and different patterns and I just feel like it's more mentally cognitively engaging than sitting on Instagram and literally with your subconscious mind just like trolling beautiful people online and being like oh damn I wish I looked like that so I don't know I just wanted to talk about this app because I feel like it's like the new maze runner who remembers that game I was like I think I hit like two million on that that's probably not that impressive but this game, again, I'm trying to get to like level 20. If you have this game, tell me what level you're on. I'll beat you. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was audiobooks. Um, I sometimes get into this weird phase where I don't want to listen to music and I want to like read books. The cool thing about living in LA is that you get stuck in traffic for like a minimum of like three hours a day. So it's like a great time to get smarter. So you can read an audiobook. I just finished um, an audiobook yesterday that is called the Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. Basically, it's a book on epigenetics, uh, which pretty much argues the wide-set belief that our fate, our diseases, our sickness, our health, pretty much everything depends on our genetics. It's pretty much arguing that and showing that environmental factors and pretty much our mindset, actually, our beliefs towards the world actually influence everything from like our health to um, the way that we are, our fate in life, how successful we are, how happier we are 
how much love we let into our life. Everything is pretty much set and based on our beliefs, like our brain chemistry. And I'm actually reading a book right now called Switch on Your Brain by Dr. Caroline Leaf. Um, and again, it's kind of talking about epigenetics. It's, I used to be the kind of person that would argue, it's because it's my genetics, it's my genetics that made me this way, it's my genetics, it's the reason I'm like this, it's the reason I'm like that. We're living in this age right now where all of these things we've been taught in school, we're kind of coming to realize, and well, scientists are coming to realize that they're actually probably not true. Like all this information that's shoved down our throat, like me being healthy for us. And I think it's incredibly cool that the youth generation is starting to question all of these authority figures and are kind of starting to learn things for themselves. So maybe I should just say monthly favorite, being educated, getting an education in some way or another. Be that university, be that audiobooks. As long as you take the time to um, just widen your horizons and find new information, then I think that's super cool. So Nara sent me these two palettes and I actually cannot live without them anymore. I, let me tell you what they're called. Narcissist Cheek Studio Palette and this is the Narcissist Eyeshadow Palette. Um, basically, whenever I'm traveling, I can literally just take these two palettes, a concealer and makeup brushes, and I don't need anything else because all of my favorite bronzers and blushes are in here and all of my favorite eyeshadows are in here. So basically, I will never ever need anything in my life ever again. So thank you, Nars. You are amazing. And the palettes, the front of them is like a mirror, so you don't even need to bring a mirror with you. I'm like the biggest lip liner connoisseur ever. Is that how you say it properly? Connoisseur. Connoisseur. I don't know, basically, I love lip liner. And this one's from Chanel, it's number 34. I honestly get scared when makeup artists do my makeup because they'll use a shade other than this. If you're looking for an amazing concealer, these two I found this winter and uh, I don't imagine that there could be a better concealer out there in the universe. If you think there is, please leave me a comment. Let me know, enlighten me. But this is a Bobbi Brown concealer and it's called Sheer Finish, no it's not. Why am I so bad at this? I have the shade uh, Cool Sand, it's a creamy concealer and pale yellow sheer finish pressed powder. Basically you put this on under your eyes and then you finish it with a powder. Swear to God, takes away all of your like dark circles, just makes you look like you kind of had a facelift. A concealer that I'm pretty sure everyone knows, it's called Amazing Concealer. Amazing Cosmetics, Amazing Concealer. You can tell I'm a beauty blogger because I don't know what anything is called and I don't even know how to pronounce anything. Um, and I have the shade light golden. You can cover up pretty much redness, you can cover up pimples, you can make your skin look pretty much flawless and it doesn't budge all day so this is an amazing concealer obviously. Amazing concealer, it's amazing. Huh? This is something I've been using for a long time and I've never shared it so I kind of felt guilty and wanted to share with you guys. This is an amazing natural brand called Tata Harper and it's the 100% natural and non-toxic revitalizing body oil anti-aging. I use this as a skin cream. I don't like creams I don't know why, I just don't, I don't know, I don't like body creams, I like to use body oils because I feel like they make your legs look shiny, like when you're wearing shorts or when you're wearing a tank top, if your skin kind of glows from the oil, it just makes you look like a freaking glowing goddess and it smells like heaven on earth. And the whole brand is actually really cool because they're all natural and stuff like that, so. This is also something incredibly cool that I picked up when I was in New York Fashion Week, this is Dr. Jart. Um, and this is pretty much like a kit and I haven't heard anybody talk about it yet So basically this is a contour cream So you put a little bit of this on like your face and on your neck and then you use this sucker This is something that they use in Asian countries and when I was over in Asia actually shooting for culture chic Which by the way if you don't watch my show culture chic, I'll leave the link down below I watch the show sometimes at night and I just laugh at how horribly dry my sense of humor is like it's just terrible but basically in Korea they use a lot of this kind of stuff for rebuilding the facial structure this I kind of okay so it's incredibly cool because I put this cream on I sit there in my bed and I just massage my face for like 10 minutes straight and contour it and with consistent use this is supposed to help the contouring of your face and it's supposed to help the elasticity and pretty much just tighten up your skin. People do this all over their body, but this is a specific face contouring one. You can do this on your jawline as well. But I sit there and I just pretty much go like tightening up my skin. Um, so maybe it's working. I don't know. You tell me. And then it comes with a fixer. So then after you do that, so after you contour, you fix the cream and then you go to sleep. That's what I do. I don't know. I love this thing. It's a lot more common in Asian countries. So if anybody's from Asia, if anyone's from Korea, let me know what you think of stuff like this if you've used it before, uh, but this is like a way new product and they do sell it at Sephora now, so yeah. So one of my favorite brands this month has been a, oh my god, I just spilled water all over my computer. Not good. This is a Thai brand called DIY by Panita. They pretty much created my dream brand. Like if I was to create a brand, I would create a brand like that because again, everything is so 
incredibly cool. In proper lighting, it kind of feels like you're tripping out when you're staring at yourself. Like, it's just the coolest freaking jacket of life. Everything that they make is like limited edition because there's literally people hand making it, hence the name DIY, like do it yourself. Um, so yeah, just seriously obsessed. Coolest brand ever, check out their site. In terms of music, check out my SoundCloud. I upload um, all my favorite songs onto SoundCloud. Whenever I like a song, I repost it on SoundCloud. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have to pretty much share for now. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you super, super soon.